Denmark, a jewel in the crowd of Northern Europe, a country rich with culture and breathtaking with beauty. I am Paul Hansen and this is Eye on Denmark. Welcome dear viewers and thank you for joining us here today. Did you know that Denmark is the happiest place on earth? Well, according to several studies, it's true. In 2009, Forbes.com released their report that happiness levels are highest in northern European countries and is rated right Denmark as number one. In 2007, a similar study carried out by Cambridge University in England found the same results. Why are the Danes so happy? Although there's no clear answer to the question, Many say it is the beer, Carlsberg beer to be exact, which is the only major brewery in Denmark. I cannot tell you myself because I don't drink beer. Well, I heard it's pretty good. The survey found that even though the taxes in Denmark are very high, the Danes just feel cozy and content with life. Denmark wasn't always such a happy place. Along with several other northern European countries, it was the homeland of the Vikings from 800 through 1050 AD. Known for their savage and bloody combat skills, the Danish Vikings went on a raids and trading expeditions down the European coast. The most remarkable aspect of the Vikings was their shipbuilding skills. The Viking ship was even more seaworthy than some modern ships. Impressive indeed. But now the Danes travel in a much more different way. Bicycles are the ideal way of getting around. In Denmark, you will see cycles everywhere because of the short distance and beautiful cycle routes. Last year, it was also voted the best city for cyclists. The green cycle routes of Copenhagen are a network of cycle routes running through the parks and waterfront areas. If you don't have a bicycle, you can still grab some wheels for free. In Copenhagen, the city's free bike program provides 1,300 free bikes to anyone to zip around the city. Pretty neat. When you're biking around Copenhagen, you might want to visit Tivoli Garden. The park opened in 1843 and is the second oldest amusement park in the world. Walt Disney himself was so impressed with Tivoli, he decided Disneyland should try to emulate it. The park is best known for its wooden roller coaster built in 1914. It's one of the world's oldest wooden roller coasters and is still operating today. The world's tallest carousel, Hibbleskibbit, opened in 2006. It is 80 meters high and offers views of the city. We now join Soren Sorensen in the Weather Center. Thanks, Paul. It's a great day. I'd like to give you some information on Denmark. Denmark's weather is quite mild and the climate is temperate. The winters are not very cold and the summers are mild. Rain in Denmark comes on a regular basis. Year-round, there are no true dry periods. The annual rainfall in Denmark averages 24 inches. Because of Denmark's northern location in Europe, the length of the day with sunlight varies greatly. There are short days during the winter with sunrise coming around 8 a.m. and sunset at 3.30 p.m., as well as beautiful long summer days with sunrise at 3.30 a.m. and late sunsets at 10 p.m. We live on a flat piece of land. For the most part, Denmark consists of flat lands with very little elevation, except for the hilly central area on the Jutland Peninsula. Its average height above the sea level is only 101 feet. And the highest natural point is Mula High at 560 feet. The country is actually made up of 443 islands. Only 76 of them are populated. Denmark's coastline is 4,545 miles long. With so much coastline, it brings many tours from around the world. Did you know that Greenland is a part of Denmark? Though Greenland is mostly governed by itself, it is still a country within the Kingdom of Denmark. Greenland became the Danish colony in 1814 after being under the rule of Denmark and Norway for centuries. Denmark granted home rule to Greenland, 
with the Danish royalty government in charge of only foreign affairs, security, and financial policies. That's all from here, Paul. I'm going to go catch some rays. Thanks, Soren. Well, if you don't like the weather in Denmark, you can always travel to California. Along the central coast of the sunny state, you will find the small town of Solvang, which has become known as the Danish capital of America. This charming, friendly village allows you to shop for antiques and Danish imports. You can also enjoy traditional Danish foods in any of the restaurants and bakeries. I'll have to visit the next time I'm in America. We're joined by Espen Johansson. What do you have for us today? Well, Paul, we're actually here at the Roskilde Music Festival. It's really cool. Roskilde is the annual concert that sees 170 bands performed in one weekend. It's quite a show and has grown enormously since the beginning in 1971. It's now the biggest music festival in Europe and has become the international event bringing music fans from all over the globe. One band you won't see here is Aqua. That's because the band broke up in 2001, but with their international hit Barbie Girl and several other tracks that topped the UK chart, Aqua became the most successful Danish band ever, selling an estimate of 33 million albums and singles. Another well-known musical artist who was born in Denmark was Lars Ulrich. He is the drummer for the ultra-successful rock band Metallica. He was born in Gintoff to an upper-middle-class family. A tennis player in his youth, Ulrich moved to Los Angeles at age 16 to pursue his training. Though rather than playing tennis, he became a drummer. That's all from now for Ross Gilda. Back to you, Paul. Thank you, Espen. Speaking of famous people, we should mention this person. Hans Christian Andersen was the author of books that have stood the test of time. Stories like The Little Mermaid, Thumbelina, and The Ugly Duckling. His poetry and stories have been translated in more than 150 languages. They have inspired movies, plays, and animated films. Hans Christian Andersen was born in the town of Odense. There are many wonderful places to visit while in Denmark. Copenhagen is a city that should not be missed. It is the capital and largest city of Denmark. Copenhagen is a major regional center of culture, business, media, and science. It is also recognized as one of the cities with the best quality of life. In the center of town is the longest shopping area in Europe. Straget is a tourist attraction that is visited by 250,000 people every day. We are now joined by Jens Peterson with a very special guest. That's right, Paul. We're here with the famous pastry chef, Auntie Elsa. Thank you for being here with us today. Thank you. I'm quite happy to be here on your first show. Who is this large man that you brought with us today? This is Ludwig. He's actually a Swedish chef. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bridge called the Orison Bridge that connects Denmark and Sweden. It is actually the longest road and rail bridge in all of Europe. If you travel the long distance across the bridge to Sweden, you will find Ludwig's Bakery. And he makes such wonderful Danish dishes. So I decided to bring him here today. Well, what will we be making? Today we are going to keep it simple, Jens. We are going to make the breakfast staple, Ebo Skibers. Well, there are many ways to make Ebo Skibers. We are going to do it the easy way. First, you have four eggs, one half cups of milk, two cups of pancake mix, one tablespoon of sugar, and one teaspoon of vanilla. We mix it all together and we put in our special little Eberskeber pan. And this is what they look like when they're finished. They look delicious. Oh, they quite are, and you can put anything on top if you like. Could I try one? Of course you can. Back to you, Paul. Thanks, Jens. We have another special guest. This young man over here is from Clovis, California. His name is Kyle Dewelly. Thanks for having me on the show. It's pretty neat. I heard that you did a culture report on Denmark. Yeah, that's right. I heard my ancestors used to live here, so I decided to do a culture report about it. Indeed. What did you report about? Well, it's kind of weird, because everything in my report 
is exactly on your show. Really? Yeah, it's like the Twilight Zone or something. They're, they're like the same thing. Adorable. Thanks for being here, Kyle. Finally tonight, the best toy in the world is made right here in Denmark. Lego. The colorful plastic bricks are made right in the city of Blund. The original Legoland park was opened in 1968, and it is located right next to the original Lego factory. Over the years, more than 40 million guests have been through the park. This makes the largest tourist attraction in Denmark outside of Copenhagen. Thanks for joining us. And remember, whatever you do, keep an eye on Denmark. <laughs>